Uh, this is uh, Northern Access, and today we're going to do the kind of an open box for the Saber Ranger, or the new Saber Ranger 5000. This is actually the replacement unit for the um, add value, or wide eye add value uh, uh, Saber Ranger, the regular Saber Ranger uh, M to M unit, or began unit. Uh, so actually they've done a really excellent job on this one. This is brand new It just came out and uh, Basically, it's if uh, anybody has seen any of the M to M units this one looks uh, Very much like the Hughes 9202 Except I'll have to give it to add value white eye. This thing is extremely tough and um, if I wanted to actually have uh, a remote management type of unit, this is probably one that I would want to use, definitely. Uh, so I'll just show you a couple things on it um, that come straight out of the box. It doesn't come with much, so it literally, this is it right here. Um, it does have some accessory uh, uh, things that you can get. One is the pole mount. Um, I'll show you that right here, it's in the book. It comes with it. You can see right there. That's basically the pole mount that comes with it. So it kind of reminds you of uh, the pole mount that comes with, the, or that came with the old uh, Saber Ranger um, Began or M to M unit. However, this one is IP66 rated and uh, basically is just extremely uh, tough. Uh, so just to kind of get into some of the stuff on this real quick um, Basically this unit has uh, Just a lot of uh, us, You know new features such as I'll show you here This is and this is basically kind of the only way I can kind of show you because on the bottom of the unit is kind of where it opens You can see right here that this is the bottom of the unit all this and it opens up this right here uh, these uh, little lights actually I'll show them to you when we flip over the unit that's kind of your pointing as far as the line of sight to the satellite it'll let you know when you have your uh, strong reading so like when you have 48 to 50 decibels you end up pushing this uh, button right here which is your pointing mode button and then gets you into registration this little thing up here is actually a pressure switch uh kind of a, almost like um it's uh pelican cases have in a way uh so if you're in high elevation stuff like that you want to make sure everything inside stays nice and pressurized um so inside it's actually really cool you got Basically, um, uh, for any engineers out there, you can see right here the, the Saber Ranger 5000. Let me zoom in on a little bit clear. Uh, has an NPT three quarter inch hole on the bottom for installing the conduit. Uh, now, and on the, and all the engineers or um, uh, electricians out there know what a conduit is. Basically, you get a um, three-quarter inch fitting on the bottom that uh, ends up holding all of your your main cables, such as, uh, I'll show you some of the ones, and this is actually a really easy setup. Uh, so basically, that's kind of why it just comes kind of like this, or if you want the pull mount. Um, you got, uh, of course, actually the, uh, the power in it, the power itself, you see right up here, let me show you, over here. It's actually right there in that spot. Um, you can, if, if you follow the area over, uh, it's basically your, uh, uh, where's that? Hold on a second. Now I'm losing it. The power connector, here it is. Power connector goes right up there, the two, um, uh, cables, you know, positive and negative, just go right in there and you tighten the screws down pretty easy. Uh, and then you also have uh, your 
uh, 12 volt, one amp power button, which is, or power uh, switch. This is kind of the same right here. You got your ethernet right here, port two, and also ethernet port one. All, it's all very cool. And you also have a uh, micro USB in there as well. So this thing is pretty much loaded with uh, all the newest features. It has a safe mode switch. Um, basically the whole terminal block for you to do all kinds of extra stuff which the uh, book itself goes into all of that uh, for anybody that wants to do in, in a remote type uh, things uh, so it's uh, very very cool as far as that goes uh, so I'll just kind of you know show you some of the things on the unit itself now that I kind of went over that and uh, you have to kind of excuse me because this is the first time that I've ever seen it and uh, that basically uh, it's only been out for a couple months so uh, anybody that's looking to get the new uh, Sabre Ranger 5000 or looking to get the Sabre Ranger M2M, the old one, uh, they're not going to be able to get that anymore. It's end of life and basically this is the one that uh, you're going to have to Kind of start getting into uh, also too just to let you know there's also the sim card slot right in there it actually goes right in here and then this little uh, metal latch flips over and then goes on to that so it's pretty interesting uh, on the unit itself also too in the box you'll always get a certificate of inspection it's actually uh, pretty neat. I like the way Add Value does this because it lets you know that every single unit is inspected by somebody and it also tells you the latest firmware version. So on this one, you got the latest firmware version of R01.0.1. Uh, so also too, so I'll just show you kind of the bottom. There. There's the uh, three-quarter inch conduit. So basically, you pull that plug out, and then you get your uh, three-quarter inch conduit uh, um, adapter. And then that's where all your your power cables, your Ethernet, um, your mini USB, uh, any of that stuff is going to uh, run inside that and then will be safely sealed uh, for outside. And you can see that uh, the lights that I was talking about as far as the pointing uh, goes, that's them right there. So when you're actually pointing the unit uh, with the pole mount or however you're using it, it's gonna actually light up right there, which is really easy. And then once you get to a certain amount of lighting, then there's your yellow uh, pointing mode switch. You hit that and it goes into registration. And then again, there's that um, uh, presser switch as well. Uh, so very easy. You see here that it's just basically kind of uh, almost kind of finger tightening uh, type screws that you can grab a hold of. Um, although you, you know, if you're mounting it outside, you want to make sure that everything is nice and snug, but uh, you can just open this up real easy and set everything up right inside and it of course has got your heat sensors and everything to mount the uh, actual uh, the pole mount and that's what all those uh, screw holes are for right there again the uh, Sabre Ranger 5000 extremely tough IP66 rated uh, came out at the end of last year and has replaced the Saber Ranger, uh, the old Saber Ranger M2M began unit. And this is both a M2M and a began. So basically, you can use it as either or. So it's actually a, a very sophisticated new unit. So uh, Wide Eye uh, Add Value did a very good job on this. So. Again, this is Northern Access Satellite Communications, just trying to give you a quick overview of the new Sabre. Uh, Wide-eye, add value, Sabre Ranger 5000.